Hey everyone, welcome back. You are listening to h a n g u g o c h a n j e on TBS EFM 101.3 in Seoul and the surrounding areas. And we finally have Professor Daniel back with us. He has returned. And it's great to be back. I'm ready and roaring to go tonight. Yeah, so you've good. got a beautiful glow to I you do. right now. With lots of sun and oh, a little yeah. bit of rain. Yeah. Oh yeah, and a, a lovely tan light. You guys, I got to see during the break the tan line. Magnificent, magnificent tan line here. I was so jealous of it. But I'm so glad to have you back, sir. Thanks for being here. And I'm very happy to be back. And it's funny because um, last week, so as you guys probably know, we did uh, pre-record the show while Professor Daniel was gone. But we had kind of talked a lot in depth about Onyuar. And I know some people here were a little confused because they're like, Kayla, this is really hard. And so I feel like we should just quick review for our new listeners what we had talked about And then we'll get into kind of our fun stuff. Today, it's fun stuff, you guys. It's not so hard today. We got fun stuff. Nice and easy. (laughs) Nice and easy. But uh, uh, let's just give a review in case some of you are still struggling with that ONUR. What was that again? Okay. So ONUR stands for May and June. So Mm ONUR put together. Kind of some nasalization going on, linkage there. And Mm -hmm. it's used to refer to the summer months. Yeah. So So like uh, Daniel said, that nasalization there is just because uh, if you try to say Oh, you g o r really fast. It doesn't work out. Oh, you r i g h t It doesn't work out. So it's just easier to be like, oh, you are. It just kind of rolls off the tongue better. Mm-hmm. But um, we covered some really interesting phrases and idioms last time. This first one here, I remember, was a. Uh, Quite interesting. What was this one here? It was. Okay, this is probably the toughest one mm-hmm. from last, uh, our last show. So, 요자가 하늘 품으면 5월에도 소리가 내린다. Okay, so this is, as we said last week, very visual sort of a, a phrase here. What does that mean exactly? Okay, so if a woman feels a sense of angst or melancholy, then... It can freeze up or there can be sleet or snow or dew even in the summer. (gasps) Can you guys imagine that? Like when a woman is melancholy, when she is, you know, like a a woman scorned kind of thing. Hell Uh, hath no fury. Exactly. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And so just that visual of like frost or Like these kind of it's sleet sort of things just kind of falling in the summer month. Oh, it's so visual. I love it. Um, but this next one here was kind of like a, a, a cuter one here. This on your k a m g i n e n k e d o ang o l i n d a So we're talking about dogs, are we, we not? We sure are. Yeah. So what does this one mean here exactly? Well, just nobody gets sick in the summer. Even dogs yeah. don't get sick, right? Even so. dogs <laughs> don't get sick in the summer. <laughs> Although I will argue this because of that air conditioning. Conditioning itis. There are people who get sick here in Seoul because of the the constant switch in temperatures here. That does exist here. Are you talking about Ning Bang Byung? Yes, I am the Ning Bang Byung. I've had about a bout of that. Uh, yeah, it is year, not but. fun going mm-hmm. back and forth. But either way, we're just kind of we have this very fun phrase here for that. Um, what about this next one here? The o n y u r Ke p a r t a Okay, so, so imagine a dog lying in the sun. Mm-hmm. Uh, sounds like a nice life, right? Yeah. So, That's what we're talking about. So. And, and so, again, as I said last week, p a r t a here is not talking about selling the dog. No. Uh, we're, we're not selling it. No, we're talking about the destiny, like the fate here, the, 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 what it, it's, it's meant to be here. What's going to happen to that dog? He is going to lie under a tree and en- enjoy the sun. Enjoy so. the life there. It's the dream life here. And this next one, oh, gosh, I love this word here because we're talking about, uh, what was it? Metugi is great. Gra- not grasshopper. Was it praying mantis? Praying mantis. Was there it? Okay. Was it? Metugi was... Pra- no. What, what, why can I not think of the English word for it here? All of a sudden, I'm having like super mong like moment. And men- Similar to a grasshopper. Yeah. Right? And so, so um, we're having like the metugi do onyuori h a n c h o r i t a And so there's one period. It's like their time to shine. Exactly. Right? Even a little grasshopper relative can still has his day. Right? That's so. right. Yeah. Oh, I love that here. And this last one was also very... visual like a very uh like kind of picturesque sort of it's, it's not like the greatest you know meaning like in terms of beautiful no, but like no, it's very visual in that sense you can picture it happening in your mind what was it okay this one is on your jangmae todam 
Surajitat. So I think this one's great to kind of finish our review on because it is c h a n g m a c h o l right now. It is super rainy season now in uh, Korea. Be careful out there, folks. <laughs> yeah. And so what does this one mean when we're talking about that todam? What okay. is that? To fall apart like a mud wall or a clay wall. Mm. In the monsoon season in summer. So, so what does that mean exactly? To fall apart really easily. So I'm, imagine like this, this clay wall and it's being, there's a flood coming down. It's going to fall apart really easily. So, yeah, yeah, there's not much you can do during the Changma season. They're nope. just, it's a powerful rainstorm. So it's just going to fall apart. So those were kind of those hard ones we covered last week. But as I promised, this week we're having some fun, nice and easy ones, right? Much easier stuff. So this week I wanted to go. over some sayings that have basically a one-to-one equivalent in English. That's, so. and, and I think that's going to be the easiest for people to kind of connect in their brain here. Because it's, if it's a phrase you already know, even if it's English is not your mother language per se, a lot of people use these phrases. Um, they're very common. And so I'm sure some, you're probably familiar with at least one or two of them. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. And so what's this first one we're looking at? Okay. So um, there is a one-to-one equivalent here, but it's slightly different grammatically. So we'll yes. take a look. Look at that too. So number one, 늦었다고 생각할 때가 가장 빠르다. Okay, so 늦었다고 생각할 때가 가장 빠르다. Now this is the one out of all of these here where when I directly translate it, it doesn't. exactly line up so i feel nope. like i lied to you guys a little bit but i promise there is a meaning here but if we directly change it it's kind of saying like when you think it's late at the times you think it's late it's the fastest it's the earliest you the, could possibly change kind of yeah. what like that even in my english i'm like Hen? makes no sense right why and so can you kind of break that down sure okay so the english equivalent for this would be better late than never mm-hmm. so even if you If the, the thought comes to you, oh, I should have done that earlier, right? Mm. That's still the very earliest you can fix whatever you messed up earlier, kind of. So. I get it here. Mm-hmm. So they're saying that um, because in that moment, uh, like mm-hmm. you're in that exact moment, that is the fastest time in which you can fix it. This moment, this Can't go back here. in time. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So since you can't go back in time, might as well do it now. Like that, I really like that actually that's a very interesting way to phrase it different perspective i guess because in english i guess for the better late than like better late than never it would kind of be like well not that right (laughs) like it's kind of that feeling of like oh it's just instead of not doing it it's better to do it even though it's late like a more negative kind of yeah perspective but this one here it kind of has that feeling of like I don't know. It's just like, now is the time. Do it. You're still early. You got time? You're good. Don't worry about it. This is still fast. Congratulations. So I kind of like this one better. It's a positive spin. Let's let's make a, when you think it's late, it's the fastest a new English term. We're we're going to make that. You heard it here first. Yeah, right right here. Kayla's stamp of approval. It has been done. Um, But the second one here, what is this one? Okay, this is a lot easier to understand, Mm -hmm. I feel, for our English speakers and anyone else out there who speaks English. So, Mm -hmm. 뜻이 있는 곳에 길이 있다. Oh, here that kir comes up again. You guys remember kirti? We talked about kirti. It's the same kir here, that road, that way, right? The way, right. All right, so what does this mean if we would directly translate it? Uh, So a place that has meaning is the road. Mm. So that 뜻이, when we talk about 뜻, uh, you'll probably often hear 뜻 the most when people will say like, oh, 무슨 뜻일까요? Like, what, what do you think this means? What, what might this meaning be? Um, we, we often talked about that when learning languages. When I was a teacher, I would often ask my students, all right, here's the sentence in English, 무슨 뜻일까요? Like, what do you think this means? And so here, this is the, like, this meaning, this place that has meaning. 뜻이 있는 곳, not 곳. Quote, 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 that's a place. Yeah, I know it kind of, people can get caught and quote very mixed up. So places that have meaning, kirita. So it has a road. It has a road. So if, if we would translate that. Oh, there's a, a very easy one in English where there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. That, that's just so easy. Like I, I guess will here is talking about like, because it has meaning, therefore you have that will. A desire. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. And, and so then of course, there's a way. As we said, kir is that term for road, but it's also way or pathway, which is why these kind of 
Hoop Connect there. So if you look at like a, a navigation program or mm. GPS on in your car or on your phone, you can see like Yurutaki, like find the, the get, road. get directions. Get your of, directions. Yeah. You're you're kind of walking directions, which for our cutesy friends, they probably need that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I'm Gucci. Are you Gucci? Totally. I love, right. I love yeah. it. Daniel, that's openly Gucci. I am openly Momchi. Isn't that great? You guys, let's connect together over our cheese. I, I love that. <laughs> but this third one here, I love this one. Oh, this is a great one. Nice and short, too. Yeah. 모르는 게 약이다. Yeah. 모르는 게 약이다. So um, I feel like. We, we've covered yak so much here. Um, we've talked about yak when we've been talking about medical supplies and things like that. Yak is the term for talking about like drugs or mm-hmm. medicine, um, things like that. So it's saying here, things that you don't know, 모르는 게 yakida. It's like a medicine or a drug or something. What would we translate this to? Oh, this is great. So ignorance is bliss. <sighs> Goodness. Uh, so, but I find it's interesting the Korean visually aspect of this. This, like, how, w- what would you say in regards to this? Like, what are your thoughts on this one here? Well, it makes sense. I mean, if you're hurting because you know too much, mm-hmm. then if you don't know, maybe that would cure your what ails you. Kind of, so it's like think the, of it that way. The treatment here, instead of you know whatever might be bothering you, if you know too much, here's the treatment. Just don't know it. Panacea, yeah. elixir. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't even think. Don't learn it. It's fine. Just don't know. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, that's kind of how we would translate in English. We would say ignorance is bliss. Yes, right. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah that's actually quite easy. Now this next one here, oh, this is another nice and short, easy one here. Mm-hmm. That mu soshiki, hi soshiki da. So I we've actually talked about this mu Chinese character mm-hmm. before Obser a couple times. It, it's talking about when something's not there. It, it's it, mu is like upta, like exactly. it's it's not there. And he is talking about like happiness, yes, right? Yes, keep Yes. So so when this one here mu soshik soshik is kind of like news. We're talking about a type of news or thing updates. That, updates, yeah. So no news, no updates, happy news. Happy updates, whatever. Happy updates, bingo. So how would we translate this into English? No news is good news. Exactly. It's so easy. You guys, I can't get more direct translation than that. <laughs> 무소식이 희소식이다. Bingo. Oh, that's just so nice and easy. If I, if I want you guys to take anything away from today's show, it's the 일석이조 because we've covered that a thousand times mm-hmm. and it came up again today. You see how common it is. And then this one here, 무소식이 It's just so nice and simple and you use the same soshik so it's easy to remember. I just, I feel like these are ones that you guys could use on a daily basis. Write that one down, right? Yeah, for sure. Now, this fifth one here, what is this one? Ooh, okay. So we're once again getting our traveling uh, boots ready here. Love it. 천리길도 한 걸음부터. Yeah, that 천리길도 한 걸음부터. So this one also almost directly translatable. Almost, yeah. Some, yeah. some more detail in the Korean Little version more of detail. it. Little Yeah, so. what is this? What okay. is that? Okay, so a, a trip or a journey. So in this case, gear is like a journey mm-hmm. or road of a, of a thousand li. Mm. A thousand li. So I, I'm going to pretend I don't know what li is, but like what would li be for our listeners the here? The traditional distance marker in Korean. So for example, the area... Uh, Wang Shimni would be Shimni, so mm. 10 li, li, right, in that case. That's yeah. so interesting because, like, I feel like Li, I only hear in Korea, similar to how I only hear Pyong in Korea. Yes, These, this like, is not used outside Korea. Nowhere else do we use Li. Like, can you imagine me going to, like, America and be like, hey, how far is the gas station? A couple or the, of Li. And, yeah, just like, oh, I think, like, 15 Li. Like, it's real close. Like, <laughs> gosh, my mom would be like, what? What are you talking about here? So, 천리길도, this gear here, as uh, Daniel said, is more of the journey. So, we're talking about that 출근길 before. 출근길, we were yep. talking about, like, the, I don't want to be dramatic, but, like, the, the journey of, like, going to work. The, it the, can be a journey sometimes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Jamin and Asai here says, 눈 없어 is 좋은 눈. I, Great translation. Love that. I, I'm going to, I feel like we should make that. I like we're, that. We're making that the new Korean one. I love that. Jamin and Asai, thank you so much for the comment there. Now this, what is that part there? 
the first step or a single step in this mm-hmm. case. So you're counting the number of steps and we have ha, gorum is step and then han gorum. Mm. So a single step begins with a single step. And that puto there, we've often talked about momoru puto, momokaji. It's starting from to something else. So that's starting from here, uh, starting from one step. So I'm guessing you guys can kind of figure this out here when we're talking about a journey of Lee uh, and starting from one step it almost directly spells itself out sure there does. it's a, a long journey starts with a single step easy right right just journey beautiful. of a thousand miles take that first step oh, yeah, I sure. love that you guys that's so poetic now what's this last one here okay here's a good one so burindero k o d u n d a oh yeah so this one again like pretty much almost directly translatable here because that kodunda is like talking about when you harvest something you sow something and not not sewing as in stitching so as in like in the fields s-o-w yeah so? s-o-w right? so yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that in the fields kind of one what is this purintero okay as you spread the seeds so you shall reap them <gasps> Did I give it away? Oh my gosh. Almost, yeah. Oh yeah, that's almost directly translatable there. That is, you reap what you sow. Bingo. And um, as I was on my way to the studio today, I actually thought of a good saja uh, song we could Ooh, use for this like as well. This. What so, is it? Very easy one. So, uh, chaop chadik. Oh, hold on. What does that mean? Cha? So, cha is self, as in like cha jong go, cha dong cha, right? Okay. So, it's autonomous or self there. Op would be the work you do. So, om mu har te op. And then, duk would be what you get. Oh, so the work like the you edict do, sort of thing? Bingo, yes. And then, wait. Chi duk, eduk. So, right. cha op. Cha duk? Duk, yes. Cha op, cha duk. Oh, interesting. And I love, guys, can we talk about how Daniel, in his free time, thinks of sa ja song o? I just, I need us to take a moment. I, in my free time, think of lyrics and, and, and jam out to music. I'll be just sitting in my car, just like, ah, oh, yeah. And then there's Daniel in his car, and he's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like he's just, he is so Korean nice. <laughs> I look him up, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. So, before, just to kind of wrap it up here, before we get into our Oscar award winning performance, what, one more time, let's just go one by one through sure. these. So, this first one here, what was it? Better late than never. Mm-hmm. And then number two was. Where there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. Number three. 모르는 게 약이다. Oh, and that's ignorance is bliss. I don't want to know. <laughs> right? So. And then 무소식이 희소식이다. No news is good news. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's that next one then? 천리 길도 한 걸음부터. A long journey starts with a single step. And then finally, 뿌린대로 거둔다. You reap what you sow. Oh, I love these. So I hope you guys find at least one of these useful in your daily life. It would be really cool so you just drop it in conversation and no one else knows what you're talking about and then just like walk away with a flip of your hair. I think that would be really cool. Makes Definitely. you feel so much smarter. So smart here at High Level Korean. But now it is time for the performance of the year. Let's take a listen first to the movie clip that we've prepared. It's just like I'm living in a m o n 안에 뭐가 들었는지 모르겠고 그냥 맵기만 하네. Okay. Someone I, is confused, yeah, right? Yeah, no kidding. Someone's having a hard time today. Rough I, day. Yeah. I feel like we're outside of a p i a n i j o m and like I'm sitting with my girlfriend and she's just sitting here staring at it, like her m e u n t a n g and she's like, mm, and I'm like, oh girl, we gotta go out. Like, Existential crisis. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go take care of this. So I want to first hear Daniel's impression. Maybe I'll even give it a try, but I want to hear Daniel's impression first. See what I can do here. So, 그냥 나 사는 게 매운탕 같아서. 안에 뭐가 들어 있는 들었는지 모르겠고 그냥 맵기만 하네. Oh, yeah. she has a very deep voice. Oh my <laughs> goodness, she's just like 그냥 <laughs> 그냥. I was just like, wow, how does he get that deep? It's like a t o n g u r there. Wow. Okay, so I'll give my best try here. 그냥 나 사는 게 매운탕 같아서 안에 뭐가 들었는지 모르겠고 그냥 맵기만 하네. Oh, it's so sad. It's just like, it's talking about spicy seafood stew, right? That sure meun tang. I love, I love me some uh, oh, meun tang there. Meun yeah. tang is so, uh, so good. It's so delicious. It's, uh, you can basically put any seafood, any vegetables in it. Call Would it that be tang. like 
jambalaya back home? Like, I'm really? not from the South. I, I'm not from the South, too. Does jambalaya have, like, a lot of rice in it, though? Seafood and rice? I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. sure. Somebody check on that for us. We are not from the South. I got to ask my friends from New Orleans here about that. But, or we'll ask Matt. We'll, we'll ask Matt about it. Matt knows everything about food. But, um, so, they ha- yeah, just seafood, vegetable, and it's really spicy it is and there's so much in there you don't know what they've put in there mm-hmm. so that's why i think it's used as a kind of metaphor here yeah, yeah the metaphor is basically talking about um like comparing it to m a y o n t a n g because whatever you put in it it's still called m a y o n t a n g as long as it's spicy soup here. bingo a big rough and tumble type of soup there yeah, yeah exactly so. oh this poor girl having quite the day here well i got to witness a wonderful performance here Very from deep you voice there for Loved that poor lady it, <laughs> and i love all the different phrases you brought for us today daniel thank you so much for being here again anytime today. great to have you back too with that Glad awesome to tan back. line <laughs> <laughs>